welcome friends and uh, we are going to take up one example problem to uh, see and understand whatever we learned in the previous session so the question says find the hundredth term of the following sequence and the sequence is 7 12 17 22 27 and let's say uh, we do not have any idea of what kind of sequence it is and uh, whether it is arithmetic progression or whatever let's say we ha don't have any clue then uh, in the previous session if you remember we discussed that if the subsequent or let's say two consecutive terms in a sequence uh, have same common difference same difference that is then we know how to deal with such cases so let's say the difference here is if you clearly see is 5 and 5 right so the first layer of difference between two consecutive term is always 5 in such cases we said that the nth term of a sequence can be given as tn as a n plus b right it can be expressed as a linear function of n where n is what the position number or n, the term number right so n is 1 2 3 4 like that correct this is what we learned in the previous session so we are going to use this particular concept to find out the nth term in this case or here it has been given to find out hundredth term so for that if i somehow get this relationship then if i deploy n is equal to 100 i will get the hundredth term so let's see how to go about it so the underlying concept once again just to re-emphasize if you have a sequence and the consecutive terms have constant difference two consecutive term has the same difference for the entire sequence then any term any term of that sequence can be expressed like this tn is equal to a n plus b where a and b are constants n is the term number correct so if you see clearly here t1 let's say n is equal to 1 if you put n is equal to 1 t1 is how much a into 1 plus b that is a plus b correct t1 will be this much but in the given sequence t1 is 7 first term is 7 so can't i say that a plus b is equal to 7 right a plus b is 7 now what about t2 that is n is equal to 2 if you check it will be t2 second term and if you put in the relationship n is equal to 2 you will get a2 plus b which is 2a plus b and if you see the value of the second term from the given sequence is 12 so can i not just deploy 12 here okay so now from our knowledge of linear equations we can solve these two equations and find the value of a and b so let's say this equation is 1 and this equation is 2 so 2 minus 1 if i do then what will happen you'll get simply a equals 5 12 minus 7 is 5 right so a is equal to 5 if you do this you'll get a is equal to 5 and if a is equal to 5 clearly from 1 from 1 if you see b will be simply 7 minus a 7 minus a is nothing but 7 minus 5 which is 2 okay so hence i get the nth term tn relationship as a n so a was 5 so 5 n plus 2 right this is the relationship generic relationship for any given term okay nth term so now what was the question to question was to find out hundredth hundredth term so how to find hundredth term in this case so this will be simply t hundred that means n is equal to hundred so put n equals to hundred and simply add two right so hence it is nothing but five zero two is the hundredth number in this sequence right so once again underlying philosophy of this question is you have to see that if the sequence constant diff if the consecutive terms are having the same difference then the sequence can be written like that or nth term can be written like that an plus b from the known values of t1 t2 and whatever you find out the values of a and b if you deploy the values of a and b you will get the relationship we got in this case 5n plus 2 and now deploy for any n for example if someone now asks you find out the 200th term so clearly t200 will be nothing but 5 into 200 plus 2 it's like we got a formula to find out any any number in that sequence without actually 
going through each and every term of that sequence. That was the purpose of this problem. 